Hi, I'm Mary. Thank you for joining us today while we stretch and get a little stronger so our everyday activities are just a little easier to do. Before you begin this or any other exercise program, you'll want to check with your doctor and he'll tell you exercises you should or shouldn't do. Also, you'll want to wear loose, comfortable clothing like Eliza and I so you can stretch and bend and move without feeling restricted at all. You'll want to have water to drink before, during, and after our time together. And also, you'll want to work at your own pace. If Eliza and I are working too quickly and you need to slow down, it's important that you do that. If we're working too slow for you and you can pick up the pace safely, then you can go right ahead and do that. So listen to your body if you're feeling uncomfortable at all. That's your body's way of telling you to slow down. Now, it's important also to eat good food because that gives your body the strength to do what we're doing. And of course that water, very, very important. You'll also, because we're working at home, you'll want to check your environment and make sure that you're not going to crash into anything because we'll be reaching right up to the sky. We're going to be reaching way out to the sides. Our legs are going to go up and out. So check your environment and make sure you are not going to crash into anything, especially because we're going to be having a tie and we're going to be moving the leg all around. By the way, speaking of the tie, the name of this program is Tie One On. <laughs> so, Aliza and I are going to be working with ties. If you don't happen to have a tie handy, you could use a towel, you could use a pillowcase, and then what we are going to do is we're going to tie two ties together, and that's going to make it much longer. But having a tie is going to help us work on our flexibility. When you pull one hand over, the other hand comes right along with it. So, you want to listen to your body, you want to go at your own pace, you want to make sure that the area around you is nice and clear and that the chair you're sitting on is solid. It also happens that if you turn up the corners of your mouth, the exercises are much more enjoyable. <laughs> so before we begin this program, let's meet Aliza. <laughs> Hi, one of the things I love in life is going to Mary's exercise class because she helps the corners of your mouth go up and it just becomes fun and it's great. Another thing I enjoy is going for a walk and I'm lucky I have a standard poodle who comes with me and I love that and I love to notice nature, the trees, the flowers on my block and any birds that choose to come and say hi. The only thing I don't want to see are bears on my block. <laughs> Aliza, that is great. I love that. And because Aliza likes to walk, we really have to have nice strong legs and strong feet. And walking is one of the very best things you can do. So let's begin with that. We're just going to tap our toes because we're going to start from the bottom and work ourselves up. If you're ready, while we're tapping our toes, I'll show you something that might be helpful. If you grab your tie, when we, when we finally work with our tie. You can wrap it around like this, and then you can keep your hand nice and straight. But if you have a short tie and you can only wrap it around a couple times and it hurts to hold on to the tie, if you have a pair of gloves or mittens, then you can put them on and hold on to the tie, and it's really quite good padding. You'll notice that Aliza and I are right to the edges of our chair. That's going to let our legs go out and in and forward and back much easier. Now our toes are down and we tap the heels. While we're tapping the heels, you may say, you know, I'm at the front of the chair, but my back is kind of hurting. So if that's happening to you, you can take a pillow and just put it right behind your back. And that way you can sit at the edge of the chair and yet your back will feel nice and comfortable. So, like, there's no reason you can't exercise with us, right, Aliza? Right, right. So these exercises aren't for everybody, but they sure are for most people, and almost everybody can do some of them. Now, we're going to go onto our toes and heels. Our posture is nice and tall. We feel great because our bodies love to move. You shoot blood and oxygen up to your heart and your brain. There you go. Good work. Now we're going to let the feet relax and we're going to open and close our hands because we're going to be using that tie. So we're going to be wrapping those 
ties right around our hands so we want to have nice strong fingers. This is a great exercise to do first thing in the morning if your fingers are a little tight. Mm -hmm. I actually, my grandmother would put her hands under warm water the first thing. Mm -hmm. So she used to leave just a few dishes in the sink. So she would have to do them in the morning. Mm -hmm. And she would say she did that on purpose to get her hands relaxed in the warm water. But I'm not sure that's true, <laughs> Eliza. <laughs> Okay, let's hold the fingers wide and bring two fingers to one side and then the other. So we're working the wrists, then we'll add the lift in the elbow. So we're working the shoulder, there you go. That whole arm goes, there you go. That's perfect, that's perfect. Four more, and three, and two, and one and done. Whew! I can really feel that. How about you? Yeah. Excellent. And when you do work the hands, what Elisa was doing is holding her forearm because when you do this a lot, it really works the forearm too. Mm -hmm. Absolutely correct. Okay. So we relax the hands down by the sides. We pull our shoulders up and down, up and down. So both shoulders come up to the ears and then we relax the shoulders down. There you go. So this is good for the neck, believe it or not. And we relax the shoulders down. Then we bring one shoulder up and the other shoulder down. One shoulder up and the other shoulder down. Because when we work with the tie, we're gonna have the tie, of course, in both hands. And when one hand moves, that other hand has to go with it. There you go, good job. Last time single, so now let's pull the shoulders back and just settle down to center. Pull the shoulders back and you'll notice what Elisa's doing, which is a great idea, is she rolls her thumbs back and that will help pull the elbows back and squeeze those shoulder blades together. This is a really important exercise to do for posture. We pull the elbows back and we squeeze the shoulder blades together. Pull those elbows back and squeeze those shoulder blades together. This also opens up the chest and opens up our heart for the sun to shine in. <laughs> okay, now we're gonna work with the neck a little bit. So we're gonna keep the beat with the feet by a little tiny march. Pulling the belly in, long spine. We're gonna keep the beat with the feet and turn the head to the side. Side, center, side, and center. Side and center, side and center. Good job, side and center. Side and center, side and center. Now hold it right here. Lift the chin a little bit and drop it right down. Lift the chin a little bit and drop it right down. Now, if doing two things at once bothers you, you can keep your feet still. Well, we're getting the heart rate up. That's good for our brains and our hearts and our lungs. Last time up and last time down. Head comes center. Good job. So we did the head a little bit. We did the neck and the shoulders. So now we're gonna get a little twisting. Hands right here, palms up. Now we're gonna touch out and in with the legs. Here we go. Out and in, out and in. We're gonna twist two ways. Once we go with the leg, turn to the leg, turn to the leg. Good job. And you'll notice Elisa is really stepping wide. I'm stepping a little. So it shows you that it doesn't matter how you're working as long as you're moving. Your bodies, they love to move. They're so happy. There you go. That's one of the best things you can do for the people you love. One of the best things you can do for the people you love is to take good care of yourself. Good. There you go. And last one. Ah. Shake it out. How are you feeling? Okay? <laughs> yeah. All right. Let's get a little water. You know, when it comes to taking care of yourself, I read a bumper sticker once that said, be nice to your children. They're the ones that are going to decide where you go <laughs> later in life. Good idea. <laughs> okay. So now, we're going to take our tie, and we're going to make our tie go in half. So it's a little wider than shoulder width apart. 
nice and tall. And we're going to have our elbows drop down, fingertips up, and we grip it loosely, right? One foot taps forward, and one hand goes forward. If you're ready, here we go. Forward and in. Sitting nice and tall. One good thing about sitting with your buttocks towards the edge of the chair is that your belly and your back have to work really hard to keep you nice and tall. Shoulders are relaxed and down. You've got it. Good work. Now let's try two hands. Two hands. Okay, now we're getting pretty brave, so we're going to try to lift that leg up and give it a little kick. One, two, you've got it, three, and four. Now lean back a little as the leg comes out. Isn't that so much easier? Mm. Yeah. Yeah, so this is a little trick Aliza and I are sharing with you. We're leaning back. And even though it's a little easier on our legs, we're starting to work our stomachs. Can you feel that mm -hmm. a bit? Yeah. Hoo -hoo -hoo. There you go. Last four and three and two and one and relax. Ah. Our hands have been around that tie, so we push the palms down, lift the fingertips up, and spread them wide. While we're giving our hands a good stretch, we're going to lift the chest up high, bend the elbows, keep the elbows close to the ribs, and our flat back folds forward. Lift those fingers up, keep the elbows in tight. Can you feel the chest open a little bit with this one? And you'll see that Ali's a little bit more flexible than I am. And so it shows you, you can do this whether you're really flexible or kind of like me. <laughs> and then you push the heels of the hands into the thighs and slowly come up. Good work. So all the time those fingertips were out and spread wide. We're going to take the tie again. Shoulders back and down. We're going to extend the arms, but one end goes up and then you flip it over and then the other end goes up. So let's bring one end to the knee and the other end up. Now we're feeling so good with this, we're going to see if we can reach over the knee, over the knee. Now you'll feel a nice stretch on the side of the back and the side of the waist. Can you feel that? Oh yeah. There you go. And remember, if it's difficult for you to fold the tie over, you don't have to. You can use the tie long. It just makes you work a little harder. <laughs> and hold it right here. Good job. Now we're going to relax the back of the hand on the knee and open the fingertips up and spread them wide. Try to bring your fingertips down towards the floor. Try to push your elbows forward, then relax the shoulders, pushing the back of the hand gently and softly into the knee. Can you feel that stretch mm, on your fingers? Yeah. Good stretch. Okay, one more. Here we go. Grabbing the tie. Now, if you have a hard time grabbing the tie, I'll tell you a little trick. You can tie the Boy Scout knot left over right and under and right over left and under, or you can make any kind of knot you want. My mother was a Boy Scout leader, and that's how I know about the Boy Scout knot. <laughs> they had to tie their little things like that. So if holding is hard, you can just make a little loop by tying your tie together, and when we're pulling to one side or going up and down, this might be easier for you. As a matter of fact, I'm going to keep mine like this, and Elisa oh. is going to go holding the two ends together. Okay. So you can see either way will work. That's perfect. If you're ready, we'll sit nice and tall and pull one hand to the side, rotating the body way over to the side. And we don't want to ever rotate the spine unless we've lifted and lengthened the spine. We hold the head high, like there's a balloon attached to our head, which does not make us airheads, by the way, <laughs> just checking. So it's a nice and easy. And you'll notice that this hand is the pulling hand, and this hand is the guiding hand. Then this hand is the pulling hand, and this hand is the guiding hand. Now we're going to drop it down and back and out. So we're going to make a great big figure eight. Remember, any way you want to do this is good. Remember, you can use a towel. You can use a yardstick. You can use an umbrella. Anything that makes your hands remain equidistant apart. 
Good job. And then relax down. Wow, I could feel that. Could you? So it worked the shoulders. It works the arms. And that's functional because sometimes we lean back, sometimes we reach up. It's a functional exercise. Oh, yes. Okay. Are you ready to move on? Mm-hmm. Okie doke. So again, we can hold on to the ends if you want, or you can shoot your hands in, whatever is the easiest for you. Do you want to try this one? All right, now Elise is going to show you with her hands shot through. How does that feel? Good. And Elise is going to feel something different. Her hands have to push out just a little bit in order for it not to sag. My hands have to push out. So I'm pushing out more with the palms, and she's pushing out more with the backs of the hands. All right? So here we go. We're going to do that rowing. Row, row, row your boat. Actually, it's kayaking. <laughs> Now, when we row back, we're going to lean back a little bit. Now, you want to move slowly with this one. Whenever you work with the back, you move slowly. So if anything is going to tighten up, you can feel it right away. There you go. Good work. And now we're going to relax the tie right on our laps. We're going to breathe in and lift high. We're going to breathe out and bring it to our knees. Breathe in through the nose. Breathe in the healing properties of those oxygen-rich air molecules. And then down. Good. One more time. Great big breath in. Fill those lungs right up. And as you exhale, let go. Ah. Now, we've been having fun with this, but we want to have more fun. <laughs> so, I'm going to take Elisa's tie. She's going to reach under and get her other tie. And you're going to take, if you have two ties or two towels, if you have towels, you're going to want to tie the corners together because if you try to touch the ends together, that's like way too much material. So if you have ties, you're going to take the two little ends of the tie. There you go. And you're going to make a little knot. And I'm going to have Elisa make one more knot because if you just have one knot, it might slip right out. So we want two knots. It's better to have two knots than two Bs, then we'd have to say to be or not to be. <laughs> okay, now we're gonna involve the leg. So we have a lot of space. Heel down, go right in the middle of the foot. Make sure it's not too close to the toe because you don't want it to flip up. Make sure it's not too close to the heel, you don't want it to flip down. Then we're gonna take our hands and we're gonna roll our hands so that they're even. This was a shorter tie, so I had to have one more loop with this one. Feeling okay? Yeah buttocks towards the edge of the chair. We're gonna lean back, bend the knee, and pull our elbows back. Then, we're gonna resist with our arms while our foot pushes forward and we try to resist with those arms. And our arms pull the leg back. It's kind of like tug of war with your own self. That's kind of awful, isn't it? <laughs> I wonder who's gonna win. And pull the leg in. As the knee bends, you'll feel a nice stretch on the back of the leg. And as the knee bends even further, you'll feel a stretch right on the thigh, on the front top of the leg. The arms are really working hard because they're resisting. Now hold the leg out, hold the leg out. Try to take two hands and put them in just one hand. There you go. And try to bring the leg out a little bit and over. Out a little bit and over. Good work. Out a little bit and over. So you can feel a gentle stretch mm. in the inner thigh. Can you feel that? Over here. Okay. Right there. Perfect, Eliza. <laughs> Out a little bit and relax it down. Wow, that was a lot, wasn't mm. it? Yeah. Then we push the hands down, lift the fingertips up, lift the spine nice and long. Because our hands are not as strong as our arms and our legs, so our hands get tired first. So we separate those fingers, spread them wide, wide, wide. And now we're going to pull the fingers back to get a nice stretch. There you go. And then we're going to pull the fingers back to get a nice stretch. Excellent. Shake those hands out just like there were water on your fingertips. And grab the band and away we go. Two ties. Oh, Elise, I have to ask you a question, Elisa. <laughs> Okay, these two silkworms were having a race. <laughs> uh -oh. Guess who won? Uh -huh. I give up. Okay, I'll have to tell you. <laughs> Neither one. They were in a tie. Ah. <laughs> oh, that's pretty bad. I know. There you go. 
and pull in with the arms. The leg tries to resist you. And then the leg pushes out and the arms try to resist the leg. So this is really cool because you can give yourself a little resistance or a lot of resistance. So you can make this more difficult or you can make it easier. I'm going for the easy. Last one in, relax it out. Both ends are in the same hand of the leg, which is the working or extended leg. You may want to wrap them around because all of a sudden my leg is feeling really heavy. Mm. And you're going to hold on to the side of the chair if you want. You can bring your hand out to the side if you want. Good. Now you'll notice that we're leaning back and Elisa is really, really flexible. She's really getting that leg out. Good work. So again, you can hold on to the side of the chair if it makes you feel more stable. We're leaning back slightly and working that hip joint. Stretching out the inner thigh. Good job. Mm. Last one and done. Mm. Cool, that was cool. a lot of work. Yeah. On your thighs and your hands because your hands have to hold that leg up and it wouldn't be a heavy leg except for the fact that it's muscly. Would you like a sip of water before oh, we move idea. on? Oh, good idea. Yeah. Let's get a drink of water. Thank you. There we go. And of course, you can drink water whenever you want. Mm -hmm. So remember to know you can tell if you're dehydrated or not by the color of your urine. If it's a light color, you have enough water in you. But if it's a dark color, then you're dehydrated. So you need to drink more water. Mm. OK, now we're going to hold the knot. And we're going to take the knot and we're going to flip it behind us. I'm going to show you from the side. The other hand's going to come around behind you and see if it can get those ends. There you go. It's sometimes hard to find them. There you go. I might have one. OK, now, the farther apart the hands are, the easier it is. The closer the hands are together, the more difficult it is. So let's lift that elbow up, hold it close to your ear, and pull up with that top hand and down with the bottom hand. So you can remember, you can make it easier. If you say to yourself, whoa, this is kind of difficult. Well, if it's more difficult, increase the distance between your hands. Pull up with the top hand and down with the bottom. Keeping that elbow up and facing the sky, very close to your ear if you can. Always do what's best for you. If you can't, that's okay. Just do your best. Good work. Last one. And relax. Ah, give that arm a yeah. well-deserved hug. Isn't that awful? Yes. But it's really good for flexibility. It's one that they do for flexibility all the time. But I will tell you one thing. I don't think it's functional because I don't do this ever. But if I ever do, we're going to be nice and flexible. <laughs> so now we put it in the other hand. And we push the hand right up to the sky. We bend the elbow. And we try to get both ends. Oh, you got them. Good for you. Top elbow up. Hands closer, farther apart. Push up and down. Up and down. Push up, keeping the elbow close to the ear and facing the ceiling if you can. If you can't, don't worry about it. You're moving, you're flexible, and that's fabulous. So from the side, now say I'm doing this and I say to myself, well, maybe I could work a little harder. Then I work my hands closer together, adjusting the elbow so it's facing the ceiling and drawn back, although close to my ear. Pulling up, pulling down, pulling up, pulling down. Last time, up and down and relax and give that mm. arm a hug. That's mm. a tough one. Yeah, it is. That is a very tough one. Now, we're going to relax the tie and we're going to shake our arms out. That was really, really hard on the arms. Aliza and I, for the preparation for the next one, are going to lean back, which is good for your abdominals, and then push the hands back as we lean forward. There we go. So we're going to lean back and open the fingers and push them wide. Lean back. We're going to make a little fist. Push the fingers wide and back. One more time. You're going to see why we're doing this in a few minutes. Well, number one, 
we're working our stomachs, which is always a good thing. Because people don't realize it, but if you have a back that's kind of tender, many, many times if you have a strong stomach, that will help support the back because it's the antagonistic or the opposite muscle group and it's part of your posterior muscle system. Isn't that exciting? <laughs> but all we really have to know is a strong stomach will help us have a strong back. Okay, now you'll notice that Eliza and I have pushed our hands back like this. We're going to try to do that by holding our tie, and I'll show you from the side, back like this. Sometimes it's hard, so that's a good thing about being at the edge of your chair. Again, if you walk your hands closer together, it's more difficult. If you bring your hands farther apart, that's a little easier. So, breathe in long spine and your arms are straight. Pull your shoulders back and down. Lean forward just a little bit and pull your hands up a little bit. Both Eliza and I have our hands palms up. Breathe in long spine. Exhale, lean forward just a little bit more. And push those hands up. And can you feel that a little bit? Very. <laughs> okay, one more time. Breathe in long spine. Exhale, lean forward a little bit. Pull them up, oh, 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 and relax down. Now that's a tough position because we don't do it a lot. Also, many times we're on the computer, we're on the keyboard, we're reading a book. So standing up nice and tall like this is really, really important because we don't do it a lot. But boy, doesn't it feel good when you are in yeah. good posture? Yeah, feels totally cool. Okay, here we go. If you're ready, we're gonna take our band and we're just gonna put it under the knee, nice and easy. Then the hand position is important with this one. You want to make the letter L or the thumb up. Or you can imagine you have a glass of juice. So if you hold your juice glass like this, the juice will not fall out. But if your hand is like this, all the juice is going to fall out. So we want to make sure that we hold our juice glasses up. Okay? Long, beautiful spine. We're going to sit tall, elbows down, and we're going to try to bring the knee up. One, two, three. Then quickly we're going to switch legs and thumbs up and lean back. Pull the leg up. One and two and three. Yippee! Whoa! <laughs> Let's interlace the fingers and push the palms down, lifting the spine nice and long. Pushing the palms away and bringing them a little over to one side. Lift the back elbow. Lift the front elbow, come back to center and over to the other side. Lift the back elbow, lift the front elbow, come back to center and push. Holding the back sides of the chair, lifting the spine nice and long, pressing the chest forward, rolling the shoulder blades back together. Thank you for joining us. Alisa and I are really happy you did. And slowly, slowly come up, roll the shoulders up and back, turning the head, looking side, center side and shake any tension away then take a great big breath in and as you exhale know that all, all will, will be well Woo! good job yes thank you you did a great job let's drink our water Funding for Simsbury Community Television is provided in part by contributions from viewers like you. Thank you.